You've been working tirelessly on your 3D character design for hours and hours. Finally, you've nailed every detail and you have built everything. But when it comes time for animation, everything falls apart. Your character is all messed up with limbs bending in weird ways, clothes clipping through the character, and all of your hard work goes to waste. You start to think it's all about the topology and you spend a ton of time tweaking and adjusting trying to fix it all, but nothing seems to fix the problem. You start searching online for a solution and that's when you find out about weight painting. And you find out that's what makes it actually work properly. You can have the amazing topology, but if you don't weight paint it all correctly, nothing will work like it's supposed to. Now, let me show you how to work with weight paint inside a blender. And after that, I will explain how to fix the joints bending in actually. So let's go. All right, so the simplest way to weight paint your character when you first start out is just to select your body mesh and then select your rig and then click Control P and then automatic weights. So if you do this, you can see it automatically starts moving your character, but you can see there will be some like big issues like that. So let's hop into the weight paint so we can actually change this. I'm gonna go back to object mode, select my body mesh, not the rig, and go Control Tab and go to weight paint. You can see now everything turns blue. There's two different like tabs that you'd need in the bottom right uh, you have this little green and then if you drag this down you can see this is every single bow on your rig it's over here and if you start selecting them you can see the colors are appearing and like basically if you see red that's going to be like 100% like affected by this bone and if you see blue it's 0% so it's basically 0 to 1 uh, and that's for each different like bone group and then all the settings you need is at the top and if you want to change between brushes because you can either like add or remove those are the only ones you really need just click up here in the top left and you can have draw and subtract so you can see now if I start dragging you can see I can subtract all the like affected parts over here and if I change it back to draw you can see I can add like 100% so red now you can change the strength of all the brushes so change the strength shift and f basically the same as like most other modes but yeah you can see i can drag it all the way down and you can see it only adds a very small amount of strength when i do drag on it then you can also do f for the size so if you want to have a very big brush probably not going to need this big uh, but yeah you can change the size with f now if you also want a clearer view where you can actually see all the different like parts uh, i would recommend going to wireframe because you actually see the wires of the thing another useful tool when you're weight painting is if you go up to this little toolbar and then go down to symmetry you can see here we have the mirror vertex groups and then the x mirror so usually you want to have both of these on and how this changes when you're working is if you have one group so this is going to be like the, the upper arm and this will affect the upper arm.r so this is the upper arm.l affect the upper arm.l the only thing is that you have to work with is the uh, like the upper arm dot R. this won't work anymore because it's mirrored so you can't actually paint on the opposite side so if i go to a dot r group you can see i can't paint whatsoever over here that's just because i have to go to the dot l ones and then work on those it will be flipped and mirrored across by the way if you've been enjoying this click the like button thanks now let me show you how to fix it when you have joints that are moving incorrectly then just start working with all the way paints then i'll usually go through and check the right side so i can see all of my different groups over here usually something that would be like a very big issue would be the part under the arm if i drag this up you can see you have problems like this which can be solved it's kind of with topology but also with the way paints as you can see stuff like this where it's affecting over here which you really don't want so i'm going to go click over here go to subtract and then start removing over here and then another thing we also do is we can go up to our spawn and find one of the bones so that should be fine and then we go draw and then we can see we can pull this like back down this is not really a good like example because like when you pose you're supposed to bring this up anyway um then you can just see stuff like the arm you can have problems like this which you don't really want too much probably you'd want it to stay kind of like like that so let me go choose the upper rom and then let me just go add a little bit of strength over here and then maybe remove a little bit over here that just brings it in a bit which can sometimes help again this is also gonna have to be affected by topology but it's just a quick way to kind of fix that and something else is you would usually want to adjust the like the weight paint on your elbow so i'll usually say if i have something like this where i have like the two pieces 
I would have one like that um, and then one like this. So then here, so the lower arm affects like one part of it. And then if I go to the upper arm, I'd have that affect this part. So that just helps to keep some sort of volume inside of the arm. Weight painting is very much a process of trial and error. So do play around with your weights quite a bit when you're working. If you've been struggling with making low poly characters, then I've made this free PDF guide that will hopefully help. So check the link description and download. Ooh, now that you've finished rigging and have fixed your weight paints, you might still be making some huge topology mistakes. So click over here to watch that video now.